Welcome back to Motorblade, everyone. Today, we're going to go over Indian's ride command system for your Chieftain or Roadmaster motorcycle. We're also going to take a look at Indian's new update to the ride command app, which is available for iPhone or Android. Stick around. All right, guys, we'll let ride command boot up here. Get the nice Indian logo and the warning out of the way. So this is our intro screen on Ride Command, and we have three of these screens. These are our ride information uh, panels, and you can see that we have three choices down here, page one, page two, page three. These can also be cycled through using the finger button on your left handlebar. Now we can customize both of these panels to be whatever we want. So on our first page here, we tap the settings icon down here, and let's say we want this to be a small GPS on this side. Tap on that, and there we go. If we go over here to vehicle status, and go down here to this settings icon, we tap on that, and let's say we want that to be oh, our Bluetooth audio. And there we go. You can change your audio connection from right there. Mine's already paired with my phone, so that was what I was last listening to with Bluetooth. But you can also change it, of course, to no weather band, or to FM, AM, or back to USB or iPod. So those three screens can be customized however you would want them to be. I have trip A, trip B on my third screen. On my second screen, I have a GPS and ride data. Once the vehicle is moving, I believe after about 50 feet, a compass will appear here as well as an altimeter. And this will track the altitude change depending on which trip you have it set for. We go back to our first panel here. I usually have this on vehicle info, which gives me miles per hour, fuel range, RPMs, and gear indicator. And on this side, I have vehicle status, which gives me my front and rear tire pressures, my voltage for my battery, my engine hours, and oil change time. Now, I have this plugged into a battery tender right now, so we are going to have the screen on for the entire time and not have to worry about that voltage draining. So after our ride screens, Next, we come up on music, and this is just a bigger panel of what you saw in the previous selection. We have USB and iPod connection. We have Bluetooth. We have NOAA weather band with seven different channels to choose from, depending on the region you are in. AM tuner, FM tuner. On the FM tuner, you can also hit scan, and it will progress to the nearest uh, station with the best signal for you. Next, we're moving on to phone connectivity. You can see it's already connected to my phone. Some of you who watch How I Met Your Mother will get that joke there for why my phone is named that way. But you have Bluetooth settings, so you can connect multiple devices and not just one phone to the bike. You can also check your recent text messages. So after you've chosen your text message from the screen, it will show it here in the text box on the screen. This is a text from my wife saying that she had just landed at the airport. Then you can do a quick reply and you can customize these as well, hitting the little pencil icon on the right hand side. So you can have four pre-chosen messages to send when someone texts you on the bike. Now you cannot edit these while you are moving. Once the bike is moving, it locks it down so you can only send one of those four replies that you've customized in here uh, for your safety. They want you to have hands on the screen as little as possible while riding, which is good safety feature on the part of Indian. Lastly, we can go over here and tap our phone icon, and that will bring up a dial pad for us to punch in a phone number for anyone we want, as well as contacts and recent phone call history. Now, this will not work unless you have a Cena headset connected or another type of headset, uh, and almost any Bluetooth headset will work with the motorcycle but you can see my Cena is not currently connected. So if I made the phone call, it would actually place the call to the person, but I would not hear them through the speakers and because the bike has no microphone, they're not gonna hear anything either. One other thing to note is when you connect a Cena headset or other compatible headset to the motorcycle, you'll get this icon up here with a button, which is a music symbol with like a radio wave next to it. If you tap on that, that will change the broadcasting of the Bluetooth audio or whatever music you're listening to on your bike from the speakers to your headset. 
So if you'd rather not blast your speakers or if you're in a, I guess, noise controlled environment, not sure why you'd want to ride there anyway, but if that's the case and you can't play the music on your speakers currently, you can play them through your headset by tapping that button there. It won't allow me to do it right now because of course my Cena is not connected, but that's what that would do. The last of our four main functions of Ride Command is navigation. Now you can see I have my navigation map set pretty far out, kind of trying to hide my exact location, but this is your overall map. You can scroll and move different areas. It's very nice. It's very responsive. It works with gloves or your bare fingers for pinching and zooming, and it's really quite nice. If you need to search for something while you're riding, tap the search icon in the bottom right hand corner, or there's a finger button on the right handlebar that you can tap as well, and that will open up different categories, such as airport, automotive, business, accommodations, all kinds of things, including your nearest Indian dealer as well. You also can choose from nearest gas station, recent favorites or recent places you've visited, and you can also punch in an address. First, you'll select your state, and then you punch in the city, then the street, and then the street number that you're looking for. It is very fast, very responsive, and calculates the routes incredibly well. Now that we've gone over the main features of the Indian Ride Command system, let's look into the settings and behind the scenes of this system. If we drag down our Indian logo from the top of the screen, we can adjust the brightness of our display, and we can also set it to auto, where the bike will automatically determine the best light from the uh, screen, depending on the ambient light around you. I have never had any issues with auto, and unless I'm filming, I generally leave it on auto because the bike does a great job with that. You also have immediate access to text messages, phone, and Bluetooth connectivity for your phone from this panel, as well as for your headset if it's connected. If we tap on the settings icon in the upper right hand corner, we get taken to our settings of ride command. Under vehicle, the first thing down here you'll notice is override automatic power down. I have this currently turned on because I have my bike plugged into the wall. Otherwise, the bike would turn off after about two or three minutes of inactivity to preserve your battery life. If we go to the top, we have oil life and service reset. That's usually handled by your local Indian dealer. Or if you change your oil yourself, you'll want to reset that. Under vehicle diagnostics, if your bike is giving you a diagnostic code or an error code, it would display here so you could see what's going on. Tire pressure monitoring, coming in here, if you change the tires or you need to reset your tire pressure monitoring system, you would do that from this panel. Lastly, and a really cool feature here, is GPS status. Maybe I'm just a nerd, but I find this really cool. Let's open GPS status here. And right now I'm covering my latitude and longitudinal coordinates, again, to protect my address. But you can see the satellites overhead in relation to your motorcycle and your current lock onto different satellites and the current time and basically your GPS connectivity in relation to all the satellites. I find that really cool. It's kind of useless information. I just think it's neat. Next on our settings list is audio. Here we can go over automatic volume control. I have mine set to medium. Automatic volume control is when you are riding your motorcycle as you speed up the volume will automatically increase for you, and as you slow down and come to a stop, it will decrease for you, uh, dropping quite low when you're at a red light. So if you need to talk to a passenger riding on the back or to your buddy next to you, that's a nice feature to have. High swings it kind of too high in my opinion and maybe a little bit too low, so I keep it on medium. Equalizer is also nice. I have mine set kind of to scale towards the base end. Uh, because I like some extra bass with my music, but you can drag these up and down to your heart's content to adjust the equalizer for however you want to listen to your music. You can also adjust the fade by dragging right or left on the screen, and that will adjust the fade within your speakers. You can clear your presets for your AM and FM radio, and you can also select your radio tuner region. Of course, mine is North America, but you have all kinds of options on here. Next on our settings is time. Only two options here. We can either use the GPS time or not, or we can use a 24-hour format. I prefer to use normal non-24-hour format, 
and use the GPS time. So that way if I'm riding across time zones, the clock will automatically adjust for me. Under our general settings, we can change the language of our panel. I'm going to leave it on English because knowing me, if I get it off of this, I will never find my way back. We have speed units. So if you're going into a different country, you can change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. One thing to note is when I make this switch on here, over here on this display on my left analog gauge, which is my speedometer, it will change from kilometers per hour over to miles per hour and back and forth and light up the green light appropriately for what I have selected. It will also change my fuel range from, let's see, I have 104 miles right now until empty. If I change that to kilometers, I have 167 kilometers until empty. So that's a nice feature that it changes across your entire panel uh, if you need to change regions or go into a country that uses kilometers. Temperature units, we can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Volume units, for how much gas we have, you have option for liters, gallons in UK, or standard US gallons. Pressure units, you can choose between KPA and PSI for your tire pressure monitoring system. You can also select to reset your Bluetooth notifications, update your software, update your map database. You can also get basic system information such as serial number, loader, software, that's all for ride command. And then you also have your VIN number and model number at the bottom here. I've blurred mine out, of course, for safety reasons. Now that we've gone over all of the features of ride command, I'm going to show you now the app which pairs to the ride command system on your motorcycle. Now, Indian has put out a new ride command app recently that's very cool and has a lot more functionality than the old ride command app. So we're gonna go ahead and open that now. You can see on the new homepage for the Indian app, we have our fuel range for the motorcycle, our current voltage and our battery. Uh, if I had connected this to my bike more recently, I would have had front and rear tire pressures and PSI. And I have the distance until I need to get oil changed. Now I haven't used this riding the bike except for one ride uh, since I've updated it. But when you ride, it will give you your distance of your last ride, how many rides you've tracked, and how many hours you've ridden. If we go to the next page, we can pull up the map. And this will show you the map. Currently it's showing uh, me where my last planned ride was. I was just playing around with the planned rides out in Sturgis in South Dakota. But you can pull up the rides and you can pull up the Indian motorcycle dealers that are in the area. There's the dealer, and then over here is a planned ride out around Spearfish Canyon near Sturgis. If we go to the next page, we can go to our rides, and you can see tracked rides. Uh, you can see I did Collegedale to Tapico up in the tail of the dragon down in Tennessee. That was 118 miles, it took me three hours, nine minutes. You can find your saved places and your tracked rides here as well. So over on the right hand side, you can see we have a little motorcycle that's grayed out and it has a check mark. And below it is a motorcycle with a red down arrow. You can plan your rides on the Indian Motorcycle app. And then once your phone is paired with the motorcycle, you can just upload the ride to Ride Command on the bike without having to do it digitally on the computer and then put it on a USB drive and move it over, which is kind of a pain. You can just do it on the app, sync it to the motorcycle, and your ride is all ready to go for you with your destination, your waypoints, and everything. So you can see College Dale to Tapico is synced, but the Spearfish Canyon is not. So I would pair it with the bike, hit the download, and it'll be there in a couple seconds. Finally, we go to our last page, which is Garage, and it will give us our VIN number for the motorcycle, warranty information, nearest dealers, and resources for the bike as well. Let's go back to home for a moment, tap on our menu icon. From the menu, we can set up our profile, which is basically setting up information about the bike and uh, your Indian Ride Command login info. You can also set up your notifications. You can set up offline map regions. So if you're gonna be going into an area where you might not have cell service and you want to be able to still plan rides and sync them to your bike, you can choose which regions of the map to download for offline usage. You can also provide them with feedback, change your settings, 
add a bike if you're lucky enough to have more than one motorcycle, and then you can log out of the app. Overall, very intuitive, very good app. It could have a few more feature enhancements and maybe be a bit faster, but this is Indian's big step up with their new Ride Command app, and I think it's much better than the original. So I can't wait to see how they improve this in the future. So that's going to do it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know you like what I'm doing here and then you appreciate these videos. I hope you found it useful in some way. If you like this video and the other videos on my channel, please subscribe. It's the big red button down there. It says subscribe on. It's hard to miss. Click the bell icon next to it. That will give you guys notifications when there's new videos for you to watch right here on Motoblade. So until next time, you guys know what to do. Be careful out there. Ride safe. Ride on. I will catch all of you later. Deuces.